or 50 points. As we go on to News Flash, uh, this is for Ryan to be a reporter out in the field, which is right over there. And uh, Greg and Colin will be the anchor men of a news programme. Uh, the idea of this is that uh, Ryan is in front of a blank screen onto which uh, there'll be superimposed a picture of where he's supposed to be, but he just has to work out uh, what, what position he's in from the reaction he gets to uh, questions are put to him or not. Well, we'll look forward to that. As the case may be. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to the news. All news that is news. Yes, today we have an incredible story. Ryan is out in the field covering that story. Ryan, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. It's pretty tough over all this noise. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does the mood seem to you? I'm sorry? How does the mood seem to you? They seem very jovial. Uh... <laughs> They look like they're ready to get started any time now. Can you characterize your feelings at this point? You know, at this, point, I, at this point, Greg, I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm anticipating a great time here today. And quite frankly, I hope I learn something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Now, Ryan, I was just wondering, what exactly, how are you going to get involved in this? <laughs> Well, I thought I'd start off by, uh, of course, uh, washing and uh, jumping right into the middle of it. Now, Ryan, you've always had a great predilection for nature, have you not? You know I have. That's why I'm here. And what special preparation have you made for today's event? Well, uh, as you know, I didn't need a lot of preparation because this was my major in college. Uh, and my father and his father before him all took part in this at one time or another. <laughs> Can you describe for us some of the smells that are coming your way? Oh. I'm telling you, uh, it, it's kind of pungent, I must say, yet you get used to it after a while. Uh, the wife complains because I go home smelling like it, quite frankly. <laughs> okay, but uh, Ryan, what are you going to do? You're here, you, you went in Greece. <laughs> well, okay, Ryan, have you got to guess where you are, what's happening behind you? Uh, are they, uh, is it cows of any sort? It's <laughs> very close. I'll give you one point for cows. What are they doing, if you can guess what they're doing? I hope they're not mating. <laughs> You're suspiciously good at that. They weren't cows, they were two rhinos. Uh, getting the horn, I think, is the technical term is. But uh, okay, let's do on to a game called uh, Addicts Anonymous. This is for all four contestants, and they have to get these chairs and sit around in a semicircle and pretend they're at some sort of uh, group therapy meeting for Addicts Anonymous. Uh, you're addicted to wrestling, so you're wrestling aholics. Uh, trying to cue yourself of that. Where you go? <laughs> Steven's wrestling with a chair as a start. <laughs> Sadly, the chair's winning, but OK. Greg is in charge of this group. Away you go. <laughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Rick, your facilitator. We all know why we're here. Yeah. Colin, we'll start with you. What have you been doing about the problem lately? Nothing! I'm still totally addicted! <laughs> I've got to wrestle! I've got to wrestle! Colin, get a grip on yourself. You know we're supposed <laughs> to contain our... <laughs> no, stop! Steve, yeah, yeah, what do you have planned? Hi. <laughs> Please, what do you have planned for this week? Well, I'm going to go to uh, an art gallery. There's lots of canvas there, and I think that just might be on right now. Yeah. Canvas, remember. Okay. All right, Ryan. How I managed you? not to wrestle for three weeks. Really? Three. Uh, right. Three weeks. Three. 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 One. One. Two. Two. Remember our chant. When you're on the mat, that is that. Yes. I can remember the end of it. Now, we're going to meet here again next week. And I want to see all three of you. When I get you, I'm going to... Sorry. <clears throat> I have to leave early. Is that okay? Yeah. No, I think I'll stay. No, I'm going to go. No, I'm going to stay. Yes, no, I'm going to go. Oh, okay, okay, let me watch this. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Uh, very good, but I uh, can't give you any points. It's far too spontaneous for real wrestling. As we go on to a hoedown, this is for all four contestants. They're going to make up a song in the form of a hoedown, all four of them, with the assistance of Richard Vranch at the piano. So, what I'd like somebody in the audience to suggest is something that makes them sick. Golf. Golf. Golf makes you sick. Now, that has, happens to be something I sort of agree with. So, let's... Uh, <laughs> away you go. So, we now do the golf hoedown, starting with Stephen, working the way down, down to Ryan. And take it away, Richard.
when I was a schoolboy, my teacher said to me, I'm going to teach you golf. This is called a tee. You put the ball on it and swing very hard, but make sure you use a club and not a piece of lard. <laughs> You stunned me. Uh, uh, I'm next to Colin Mockery. He really is a chum. Before we shoot the program, he lets me pat his bum. But when we go out golfing, it really makes me sick. Cause he always asked me to grab onto his stick. <laughs> what am I, a genius? I love playing golf. I play it all the time. Though the way I play it, some think it is a crime. My golfing instructor told me it was lots of fun. When he stepped in front of me, whoops, hole in one. <laughs> when I go golfing, we always bet a buck. And my friend kisses me, he kisses for good luck. I'm not saying I'm aroused, cause he is just a friend. But when he smooches me, it makes my putter stand on end. Putter stand on end. All right, well, well done. Um, um, well, uh, sadly, uh, it's the last game we're playing tonight. A lot of sexual illusion in golf for some reason. Anyway, sadly, this is the last game we're playing tonight. And taking out the points, I see that Greg is this week's winner. So well done, Greg. <laughs> and uh, the prize, prize winning is to uh, read the credits. Uh, read the credits of Solomon my choosing. And Greg, what I'd like you to do is to... You're having a nightmare and the ghosts of your past are appearing behind you as you're having it, as you're reading the credits. And the other three, if you could be the ghosts as well and help out, that would be jolly useful. <laughs> Just for me, we thank Greg Proops, Stephen Frost, Colin Murphy, Ryan Stiles, Richard Francis, and me, Clive, and say good night. Good night. <laughs>